Hello there, Tony Marino, Artistic Director of Stage Right School for the Performing Arts and Professional Theater Company here in Greensburg, Pennsylvania, here to talk to you about our new show coming up November 20th through the 22nd at the Palace Theater in Greensburg. It is Bye Bye Birdie. Now, Bye Bye Birdie is one of those shows that's uh, very special to me because it was one of the first professional gigs I had in Pittsburgh when I first started doing this professionally. And back then I played a character that I was way too young to play, but PMT gave me the opportunity to do it. It was Mr. McAfee in Bye Bye Birdie. Now, if you're familiar at all with the movie, it was played by Paul Lynn, which I thought was kind of hilarious that I was playing the role that Paul Lynn had played. He was my favorite uh, guy on Match Game. Anyway, uh, Bye Bye Birdie is one of those classic musical theater pieces that I, I don't think is done enough anymore. And, and the stuff that we do here we do a lot of family stuff, and then we'll try to do some edgier things, but uh, we've not done a musical theater classic like this in quite a while. And it is a, uh, it's one of those shows that, it's funny, I was talking to the kids in rehearsal about how this is a show that takes place before there was sarcasm, or irony, or, uh, or any sort of like snide commentary. It was a show when, you know, in, in 1958, Sweet Apple, Ohio, uh, and the, the biggest thing that's going on right now is that America's top pop star, uh, Conrad Birdie, or, you know, sort of Elvis in disguise, is going into the army. And he's coming to Sweet Apple, Ohio to give a kiss to one young fan before he heads off into the army. Uh, and uh, the Ed Sullivan Show is coming there to do a live broadcast, which would have never happened, uh, to, of this last kiss uh, before Conrad goes into the army. And of course, hilarity ensues as this rock star uh, and, and everyone comes into Sweet Apple, Ohio and sort of turn things upside down. It is a feel-good musical beginning to end. Uh, it has uh, fantastic melodies. It has that uh, wonderful hybrid of music right b between the late 50s and early 60s. Uh, that's fun time, rock and roll, um, but also just some great musical theater pieces as well. Uh, written by Charles Strauss, the music, same guy that did Guys and Dolls, so it has great pedigree. And again, it's probably one of those shows you're like, oh, right, Bye Bye Birdie, Dick Van Dyke was in that. Yes, it's a fantastic show. P.S. We have a relative of Dick Van Dyke in the show, Will Bedick, young Will Bedick, who plays uh, one of my Randolphs, one of my sons uh, in the show. He, uh, his great uncle is Dick Van Dyke. Isn't that weird? Anyway, so Bye Bye Birdie, coming to the palace November 20th through the 22nd. Why should you come see it? Because seriously, after this, all the election stuff that's gone on, everything we see in the news, you need an opportunity to come to a theater for two hours and sit there and forget about everything and just smile, grin from ear to ear and tap your toes and have a blast as you discover and explore and remember the story of Conrad Birdie going in the army. Uh, we have a great cast. Jeremy Zarniak's coming in from Pittsburgh to play Albert. Uh, uh, he and Renata have known each other since college. He's an amazing dancer. Uh, we have uh, Alex Noble in a surprise role. You'll have to come see what it is. Uh, and uh, I'll be there as well. Uh, the inimitable Courtney Harkins is going to be there playing my wife. Uh, it's, a, uh, it's, a, it's a really fabulous show and one that I'm sure uh, you're going to love. So give us a call. 724-832-7464. Come see this great cast and all the energies that the, the energy of these amazing kids and telephone hour and one last kiss and honestly sincere uh, hit song after hit song from the Broadway musical Bye Bye Birdie. Don't miss it.